prayer or now before? Um, Jair, what should we say, sweetie? The Lord's Prayer. All right, I need you two girls to put Jordan and Kylan. Can you put your pencil boxes away from me, please? Thanks, Adelia. Can you just push your ruler away, sweetheart, and then put your papers in your mailbox? Good morning, Chelsea. Thanks, Adelia. Good girl. Yep. I'm sorry, Jair. You said now before, right? Okay. My loves, let's fold our hands. Let's pray now before. One, two, three. Now before I run to play, let me not forget to pray to God who kept me through the night and woke me with the morning light. Amen. My sweets, last week I told you about when Jesus fed all of these people. Now, that was a long time ago. Do you remember what Jesus used to feed all of these people? It wasn't a lot of food. What did he use, London? Fish and bread. It was just a little boy's lunch to feed all of these people. Well, my loves, when he was done teaching the people, he told his disciples, you get in the boat, go across to the other side of the, of the lake, I'm going to send the people away. I'm going to make sure they all make it home. And then I'll meet you on the other side. And the disciples said, okay. So the disciples got in the boat to go home. And Jesus went up a mountain to pray. So let me draw that for you. So, boys and girls at home, let me scoot you closer. So, Jesus' disciples are on the Sea of Galilee. They are in their boat going home. Jesus told them, go to the other side. I'll meet you over there. Well, Jesus, after he sent the people away, he was tired. And what he really wanted to do was just have some time alone and go and pray to God. So what he did was he went up a mountain. So Jesus walked up a mountain, and he was praying up there. Here, I'll draw Jesus. Here he is. I'll put a J for Jesus. He walked up the mountain to pray. Well, my sweets, guess what happened again while the disciples were on their way to the sea? What, do you th what came up? What do you think came up, Mason? Huge waves. There was another storm, boys and girls. But this time, who was not with them? Jesus. Uh-oh. The last time there was a storm, they woke Jesus up and he told the storm, be quiet, be still, and the storm stopped. Well, Jesus was not with them this time. Oh, yeah, uh-oh is exactly right, Tamia. So it's lightning, it's thundering. And the disciples are afraid. Jesus is not with them. The waves are getting bigger. But boys and girls, who knows everything that happens all over the world, all at the same time? Who knows everything, Adelia? God. And Jesus is God. So even though Jesus was up the mountain and he could not see them, did he know what was happening? Yes, he did, because he is God. So what Jesus did is he decided to go out to them. Boys and girls, when Jesus got to the water, he just kept walking on it. Yeah, what, Tamia said? Boys and girls, when you get in the bathtub and you take a bath, if this is the water, when your feet go into the water, what happens? Your feet go under the water. You get wet, right? Not Jesus. His feet walked right on top of the water. Just like when you walked on the ground, Jesus' feet walked right on the Can you do that? Yeah. No, I can't either. And the disciples had never seen that happen. And so the disciples are in the boat, and they see this man walking out to them, and they go, oh, It's a ghost! And they freak out because they think it's a ghost because people cannot walk on water. We just can't. 
And Jesus has to tell them, do not be afraid. It's me. It's Jesus. Don't be afraid. I'm not a ghost. And so the disciples are trying to look, you know, through the storm and the rain. And, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that is Jesus. Well, one of Jesus' disciples, Peter, says, okay, Jesus, if that's really you, tell me to climb out of the boat and walk on water to you. And Jesus says, come on, come on out. Can you imagine, Peter? <laughs> Jesus just said, come on, walk on out to me. There's a storm. There's waves everywhere. So Peter probably grabs onto the side of the boat, probably takes his leg and looks at his foot. <gasps> Down the water, okay. Then he probably gets the other leg out. And he turns around and he starts walking over to on the water. Now Peter's walking on the water because Jesus can do anything. So Peter's walking on the water. And Peter's walking on top of the water. But then, boys and girls, he looks out, looking at Jesus, and he looks and he sees all the waves. And he starts to be afraid. And when he stops looking at Jesus and he starts looking at all the waves and he starts to be afraid, is he trusting in Jesus anymore? No. So he starts to sink. He starts to go down into the water like you do when you get into the bathtub. And Peter cries out, Jesus, help me. Jesus, save me. And so Jesus reaches out, grabs Peter, Say, I just leave that, honey. And pulls him up out of the water and says to him, Peter, you have such little faith. Why didn't you trust me? Peter did trust Jesus until he saw all the waves. Boys and girls, Jesus helped Peter out of the water, they went and got back into the boat. And guess what? The minute that they got back into the boat, the storm stopped. Stopped. No more storm. Jesus this time didn't even say anything. All the waves stopped. They were still. The clouds went away. No more lightning. No more thunder. And the disciples all looked at each other and went... This guy really is, yeah, this guy really is Jesus. He's really God because he didn't even say anything. The minute Jesus climbed in the boat, this all went away. The waves all went away. The clouds and the lightning all went away. And, yeah, that was not a ghost. That was totally Jesus walking on the water. Jesus walked out to them, and Peter did too. Boys and girls, there's a very special lesson for us here. It would have been cool to have been Peter and to have seen Jesus walking on the water or to have even walked on water ourselves. Have a seat, sweetheart. But boys and girls, who's always with us in this life? Jesus. And Jesus says, I want you to trust me in all things, even when things are scary. Boys and girls, Peter was walking on the water to Jesus, and there were waves and lightning all around him. That was scary. But when Peter was focusing on Jesus and trusting in him, he was walking on the water, and everything was fine. But when Peter looked away and he looked at all the waves and all the scary things, then he started to sink. Boys and girls, when you have scary things that happen in your life, you need to always stay focused on Jesus. Because if you don't, then all the scary things just seem so big and they just seem so extra scary. And it's so silly because you forget who is always with you all of the time. Jesus, while you're so busy looking at all these waves, Jesus is going, hello, I'm the one who can help you. Why are you 
looking at all the bad things instead of praying to me and asking me for help and remembering that I'm always with you. So my loves, that's our lesson for you and me today. And I need to remember that too because boys and girls, sometimes I have things that happen that make me sad or afraid in life. But I have to remember who's always with me. Jesus. So my loves, I never want you to forget that either. My sweets at home, in your packet, you have the picture of Jesus, Peter, and the boat. And my loves, you have, I'm going to give this to you too. Yours are just white. I colored mine. What I want you to do is take your time coloring this, okay? Because then tomorrow, I'm going to give you your big blue piece of paper for you to draw the storm clouds and the waves. So take your time. Notice how I colored Jesus. I used two different colors. You can make him all the same color, but take your time. Just don't make everything all one color, okay? Make sure Peter looks real. Take your time when you're done, then you're going to cut these out. Okay, you're going to cut these out. Stay on the black lines because then tomorrow you're going to glue them onto your big piece of paper. And I will cut a hole for you to put Peter down in there, okay? Boys and girls at home, I did not send you one of these. I, I could not fit it in your packet and staple it so that you could pull it off. And then having it folded in half would have ruined how you would have been able to glue them on. So if you have a big paper at home um, to put your people on, you can. Or you could just draw it and glue them on a regular paper yourself, my loves, at home. Um, so I see that Bridget, Karina, Chelsea, and Mitchell are all online. So I have marked you all present for school. You can color your picture, and I'll see you at 8.30 for math meeting. Bye, my sweets. All right, my love's here.